You know, in recent days, we got the great news that the outstanding NHLer and uh, Team Canada skater, the great Daniel Briere, was named the interim GM of the Philadelphia Flyers, making him one of the youngest GMs uh, that is a former player in NHL history. Briere is a tremendous person, both on and off the ice. Unfortunately, his son uh, suffered another brain fart. He was suspended from his university college a few years ago for conduct unbecoming. <coughs> but get this. Carson Breer was caught in Cameron the weekend incident at the bar where he he launched an unoccupied wheelchair down the steps of the facility. Now, the son of the former Gatineau High hockey great says he's deeply sorry for his actions after he was captured on camera, again pushing the wheelchair down a set of stairs. Sort of like a film noir from the 1950s, you know the scene. The incident involving Carson, <coughs> a hockey player at Mercyhurst University in Erie, Pennsylvania, happened again at a bar on the weekend. In a security camera video shared widely online and was featured in a CBC report today, the younger Breer is seen chatting with another person at the top of the narrow staircase next to an unoccupied wheelchair. So I'm not really sure if that was there for access or there for one of the patrons. He sits briefly in the chair, stands up, and then shoves it down the stairs before returning to the bar's pack dance floor, right in front of a big moose head logo. Must be that Eastern Canadian, uh, uh, what do you call, impact. Now, he said, I am deeply sorry for my behavior on Saturday, wrote the younger Breer in a statement. There's no excuse for my actions, and I will do whatever I can to make up the serious lack of judgment. Now, Daniel Breer, who uh, play, uh, scored nearly 700 points in a 70-year NHL career, uh, spent time with Buffalo, Phoenix, Montreal, Colorado, and the Flyers. After his NHL career wrapped in 2005-15, he transitioned very quickly into front office positions, and just this month, March 10th, was named interim GM of the Flyers. Now, the father said, I am shocked to see Carson's actions in a video that was shared on social media yesterday, the elder Briere wrote in his own statement. They are inexcusable and run completely counter to our family's values on treating people with respect. Carson is very sorry and accepts full responsibility for his behavior. Now, in a tweet, Mercyhurst University, according to CBC, said it had learned of the disturbing incident on Tuesday and that its Office of Student Conduct and its Police and Safety Department <coughs> were both investigating. Now, I don't know how U.S. law works. If you damage a device that helps a person uh, get in and out of, uh, you know, stop their access, you know, wheelchair access, either a wheelchair ramp or whatever, I don't know what the charges would apply. Now, the private Roman Catholic uh, University, Mercyhurst, issued a more detailed statement Wednesday afternoon, saying it heard a considerable outcry from people and that the video footage made our hearts heavy. We pray for and are solidarity with the victim and all persons with disabilities who rightfully find actions like this to be deeply offensive. Our mercy tradition also reminds us that students and all people who make poor choices deserve opportunities to learn, change behaviors, and uh, atone for harm, harmful acts. That really shocked me this whole situation, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, we're all going to make mistakes, but with all the security cameras and the different photo and uh, different access, you know, uh, cell phones taking pictures, you think he was going to get away with this? What was he trying to prove? Like, yeah, I wouldn't say, you know, chatting up a woman or, you know, acting kind of foolish, but in Canada, wheelchair access has been a dominant right for years and years and years. Ramps and stuff like that, even Canadians, when you enter a building, you don't go up the disabled ramp, you go by the regular stuff, because you never know if someone is trying to access out or in a certain building. And, uh, you know, Daniel, uh, most of his career was a very gentlemanly player, won two gold medals for Canada at the Worlds, uh, World Junior Championships, uh, a great uh, minor league player, a, a great what he called select player, played with the Montreal Canadiens for the tail end of his career, which was a dream for a lot of Habs fans to see Briere in a Montreal jersey. So I wish the guy luck. We all make mistakes, and I'm not going to judge him. Maybe he's suffering from kind of some of the situations he, he, he occurred a few years previously. But if you draw attention to yourself as a son of a sports athlete, you should be held at a higher standard. I hope you take it the right way. You should know better. 
Daniel Breer and all the interviews he did on TV, and yes, there was a stick-swinging incident where he got suspended, but he's considered a very good head or a gentlemanly player. So I wish the younger Breer to have the sense of his father to not do something like this again. And donating money is not going to take it away. He's going to have to spend a number of years trying to get, get, a, get away from this. In my memory, no major sports player's son has ever t- attacked an access wheelchair. For what reason do you think you're being funny or being, you know, self-important by throwing a wheelchair? And he, it was like, you know, I wish there was someone in a wheelchair I would throw him down. That's that's what it felt like. Anyway, I wish the guy luck. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the latest news with the NHL this week. Montreal ended their losing streak last night, but are still not dropping in the standings. Connor McDavid's towards 150 points. I'm sorry I haven't done an NHL update for a while, but I, I saw this on the news today. I thought my American followers would want to know who Daniel Burr is. I hope you take it right away. He hasn't played the NHL for a few years, maybe. You never heard of this guy. But imagine, uh, okay, if Wayne Gretzky's son did this, can you imagine? Good thing it was Daniel Breer, because Breer, again, he's considered uh, a very nice guy. So, they consider his family was the same way. Just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, for the younger Breer, maybe you should need a volunteer with a bunch of people in Quebec uh, mentally, uh, uh, you know, physically challenged or mentally challenged to know what you did is wrong. Thanks for listening. Bye.